So I just I want to take and put I want to just get the roof out and then and then I can take a look. I can take a look and measure it up a little bit with the car and see if it even even if oh. it is going to work right. Okay. But that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about taking the well you'll see the roof we get out. I'm thinking about putting it on top of this bad boy. I like the way it looks now, but that's not who I am. I won't change okay. it. Mm -hmm. I won't make it into a station wagon. Oh. oh, that's never been done. Well, I don't think it has, but who knows? Who knows? And this is this is the roof off the the car that we did, the race car with the bubble top oh, station yeah. wagon. And I knew in my brain when I cut it off, I said, don't wreck that roof because I'll use that for something. And as I get thinking about things in the door yard, I kind of liked it, left it. So let's carry this bad boy if we can. Going my way. Uh, do you want me to push? Well, just kind of something. <laughs> something oh, up. there's a tree down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better keep my eyes open here. Be... <laughs> uh, Rip my boots right off me. <laughs> oh, them boots are made for walking, Jimbo. I'm gonna yeah. move a couple things here, I guess. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of trying to clean up in my barn when you have. You decide to move all this junk. So you start to move. Oh, I gotta move all that junk to make room for this junk. So you end up rearranging three quarters of the barn just to make a walkway to get rid of one little area. Cause you gotta go back in. Sets off quite a avalanche, avalanche of work. Okay. I'm just looking. For being burnt, they're in pretty good shape. They blend right in with the rust from outdoors. Oh, oh. Now you got a pole, you got to go jump over here. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I've been lucky so far because only some of my steps I'm watching. Okay. I'm just going to go, I'm going to take my back part. Take my back part, get that toothpick in my mouth. Take that back part and set it where the lawn tractor is, eh? Then I can kind of look at oh, it. The lawn tractor's in the way. Yeah. That's Jolene's lawn tractor. This is how things get made around here. Yep. <laughs> now, believe it or not, that wasn't bad. I'm thinking about putting that roof on that. <laughs> what do you think, Jimbo? Huh? Can try to. Oh, you're in, you're in here. Okay. That's, that doesn't matter when you're big and fat and tough like me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of measuring going on. You might have to extend the quarter panels back a few inches. We'll see. Make it longer in the back. I'm hoping that this will come. I'm hoping that this right here comes down like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that um, a measure. It also, almost looks like the roof is a little longer than the car, but these cars have a very short back and a very long front. Well, it I'm, wouldn't it wouldn't hurt it any in the design if you could squish the back out a foot longer in the back fender. For one thing, the post the post is going to get cut off. It's not going to be as long. Yeah, I'm going to chop well, it. Yeah, right. So. I'm hoping I'm, the roof will come ahead some once I get that off. So if I cut that off up here somewhere, yep, and I get it down here, so I bring a roof ahead, and I'm hoping that this piece here comes down on an angle here. 
That's what I'm hoping. I'm not sure if these posts are going to line up on the side, but what I'm looking at right now is it doesn't matter if they do or they don't because I can move them. Mm -hmm. I'll just cut them off and move it wherever I want to hit that. You know, we got a post right here, right? Post here and, the po and a post here and the rest goes to the back window. <laughs> what do you think, Jimbo? You think it worked? Yeah. And then, once I get the roof, the roof cut off of this, I'm going to cut the roof off nicely off this. And then over here, I'll show you this. And then this is our third Bugatti. See this little bum off the Austin right here? That's a bum off an Austin A100. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to cut that roof and put that roof on that. That's <laughs> similar to the one we walked by over there, isn't it? Well, this is, an, this is rounder than that one. Okay. The other one's got like a quarter panel on it, but this has got the round bum on it which will accept that roof. I might have to cut it and shrink it a little bit, but I know somebody can do that. I'll get a tape measure. That'll tell us a lot, a tape measure. He never stops. Just... <laughs> What? <laughs> to me, it looks like the roof is a little longer than the car. say 116. Should we measure there or should we measure here at the windshield edge? Yeah, you can do that. You know, I only want to this high though. Because that's... I, I want to chop oh, I want, you okay, know, yes, yes. Start the drip rail right there. Okay. Yep. And the back of the roof's got quite a lean on it. So eight feet would give me a, like a lean to that way for that thing. Go middle of that, middle of that post. Eight feet. Yeah, that'll work. That'll go in there. Oh. So what I plan on doing, I'm just going to cut it. Obviously, just cut it all off. I got to empty it out. There's some wood in there. I'll probably give Jeff probably. I, I'm on the floor of it. Don't look bad, you know. See the sunroof in the thing? It's got a badass sunroof yeah. in it. It's got a sunroof like some cars I would like to have, like a metal one that slides oh, back. Oh, that comes out to... Yeah, it's a nice yeah. one. You know, it's a metal one that comes out. Yeah. So I'll just go with it and see if it works or not and cut it off and go for it. Get the fenders tied on there so they look half decent. Then I'll just run the sand and then i got to, you know, it's, the car is pretty well complete. It's just, I'm going to cut the roof off it. be a station wagon <laughs> and this one's this roof is square compared to that round roof it should look fairly fairly good I think it should how wide is it it's another thing too how wide is it 56 fairly wide Oh, that'll work perfect. Match made in heaven. <laughs> Match made in heaven. What do you think, Jimbo? Would you go for it? Yep. Yep, go for it. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Not one of your easier jobs. I, no? No? Got nice white walls in this one. Yep. No weather cracks in this bad boys at all. Nice white walls. I should empty the damn thing out and see what's in it. Chuck what out I don't need. Uh, 
That must be up around the bumper in the front. There's some window pieces now. They did a little better job making theirs than I did mine. They got theirs chromed and everything. That's nice, eh? Hmm. I don't know what to do with nice. that stuff. Got quite a bit of it. Oh, there's quite a bit of it, all right. Yeah. Well, car full. You got that right. Oh well. I'll tear it out when I get ready, I guess. But that's the biggest thing. I think. I think that'll work. I think that roof will work. And I can move these anytime I want to. And you know, if it doesn't line up, obviously, just cut that off. And that, that's a piece of. Had roof racks on it. I don't know what we did with those, but it did have roof racks on it. They're gone. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. That's what I'm thinking. So I might call you over the day I wop that off to get that set up on there and see what it looks like. I'll probably end up cutting a lot off it even before I put it on there. Like, I don't know how big I want the window, but I don't want all that. You know, I mean, I want up to there somewhere, probably. I just want a small window. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, baby. And then the roof we won't waste, we'll put it on that. And you don't actually need, you don't need this, that, that thick there either if you don't want it well I'm with that piece that one there the first one this post right here is that first post obviously is going to hit here yeah and then that back post I'd like to angle it hit down here yep and if it doesn't fit well then I'll cut it off and move it move it forward or back wherever I wanted to make it fit probably keep it on the same angle because that back window looks pretty cool be a pretty cool breather for your race car wouldn't it like put on top of the carburetor hasn't got much room there but it's pretty cool put a little screen in that little screen on that weld something the bottom that fits your carburetor <laughs> so there you go that's what I'm gonna look at think we're doing I don't know why but I'm going for it so probably you know in the next where, what? where you if you're keeping this sort of body style you could have your back window point and wrap right down the quarter panel that like below like this glass for the back window there, side back window. Yeah. Could go right down the same curve as your quarter panel. Well, it's pretty well going to have to. Or metal. You know, but. Yeah, we could do put metal you know, in, but, but when that comes down there, there's going to have to be a, you know, like, a lip yeah. welded on like here. Like you have the window coming here. Yeah, it's going to have to and be a lip. It could curve down here or something. The window and was going to have to. It'll give, like the style of the car, the window will follow the style of the car, kind of blend the roof right in. Also, see this here? See how this is going like this? Yeah. It's going straight back there. I, I'd almost like to cut it, cut, the, cut, bring this down a little bit, and then manipulate this so it comes down. I can just cut the top of the door off and weld it back on, take a piece out of it, bring that down, and then manipulate it so it comes back up. Okay, yeah. I mean, I know it's got it here, but it doesn't look good when it's going straight across there. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I can take I the top you. of the door and cut it off and, and shrink that down, bring that down, and then make it manipulate so it comes back up like this. I guess, maybe, we'll see. See what happens. They use body fill just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm not going to, it's got a guide coat on, it's got good primer on it. I'm thinking that they probably did all the body work on it. 
So I'm just going to sandblast it yep. wherever well, it's like that and then fill it back in. Yep. I'm, oh, not yeah. gonna, I'm not going to strip all the other stuff off. Uh, no, it's on there good. It'll, it, it'll tell you where you have to strip it off. It sure will. Yep. Or the sandblaster will. I thought you had enough work to do with the projects you already got going. Well, that's not enough for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no end. Yes, you don't need her. Right, would you? Dang. Yeah. Mm. They took the working sandblaster and had the inner fenders done the whole bit, man. They were going for it. Look at the hood. They all, all with the work done underneath, yeah. all. Looks like epoxy, what it looks like. But they did a bunch of work on her, that's for sure. I tried to buy this color of primer and I couldn't find it around here. Uh, I think you'll find that color of primer at Nova. Nova Weldon. Okay. I think. I used to buy it once. In... Oh, I think it'll be a fun little project something to do well one thing about it the finished detail painting and putting a car together is, is one things. world of activity it isn't but your fabricating mind you like hacking and cutting and fitting and bending metal and there's none of that in finishing a car no Finishing a car is all the detail work of the painting and the interior and the rubbers and the wiring and fitting things together and bolting them up tight and spending money. But and spending money. But fabricating uh, is like it's obvious you like fabricating. Yeah. But the finishing detail is uh, I find personally it's I find it quite overwhelming. I won't even start another project because I'm scared of the finishing detail at the end. I'll be shut down before I get there. Well, that's what, you know what that's, I mean? that's why a lot of people are doing the, the, you know, I guess they call them rat rods, I guess. Yeah, like my Osmobile, no detail on on trying to get everything perfect. Mm, it has and to not work. everything not everything has to work. That way I'm freeing myself to venture forth and try to finish it. But if I think that I have to have everything every little detail done perfect then all of a sudden I'm overwhelmed and the job takes forever well that's what's going on with Elvis I'm you know making everything fit making everything yeah. paint it and you know just sand the inside of them doors me and Jolene spent what, all day yesterday sand the inside of them doors and then sand the outside yeah. doors yeah. 220 and then do it again with 400 and then yeah. like blow them out you see me out here on my back blowing them out yeah. it takes forever to do that shit so you for know, me when, to take a little break and do that when you're like creativeness is calling you to cut, uh, cut and modify and build and manufacture that's not fine detail of finishing no it is not you know, and it's a totally different yes yeah, so that's what i'm going to do i'll make that into a station wagon i'd like to bolt some of it together like get the front end bolted together get the front i mean it's pretty close now but get the front end bolted on so it fits I'm not sure what the chassis is like. I have no idea. They oh, I'd say it looks pretty good. It doesn't. It doesn't look bad, yeah. does it? I don't think I'd have a good time getting parts for it. No. No, probably not. Like, I mean, I got what I have, and I might have thrown away a couple of the stuff I probably should have kept. I'm not sure, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But I think it'd look pretty good as a station wagon. Then I got three of them. I got to finish. Uh, I don't know if the gutta word has to be part of it, but yeah, they're exactly. there for the opportunity to be finished if yeah. you feel like it. I got to chat. I got to cut the, the you know, body off this if one for you, that one. Yeah, out of, I don't know, the, uh, things going wrong. One out of three. If you can get success out of one of three things, that's good. So if you build six cars and you get two completed, that's good. <laughs> Because you like fabricating. Well, how many cars can you drive? But you you probably, to keep your incentive up, you almost want at least one detailed done. And every once in a while you break loose of it and you modify and build another car. But it doesn't mean you're going to want all of them done uh, too quick. Like, I like looking at them the way they are. Yeah. 
I'm not a good person to ask when it comes to trying to finish a vehicle. It takes me, it takes me way long. Like I've been all winter, all winter uh, messing with a radiator and a carburetor on the Oldsmobile over and over and over and over and over. And I'm trying to get working on the brakes, but the carburetor and the radiator are taking, taking are still telling me I got a problem every day. So <laughs> I'm back doing the same thing. I've had the carburetor off nine times. You know, well, that's not success, but I got success. The carburetor finally is dry and it's working good. But, you know, I've been like three, four months with the overhead of, of um, what am I going to do today? Oh, I know damn well what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take that radiator back out and take that carburetor back off. You know, like it's. It, Was the radiator leaking that bad? Uh, no, but it just leaks enough to tell me, it just leaks enough to get on my nerves. Not even enough for a drip on the ground. Just green dripping out the fins, just a little tiny bit. And that got you worked up and said yeah. you got to work on it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I take a Kleenex, wipe it off, and it doesn't come back till I start the motor and get it up to temperature. And then a little bit of green comes out on the fins again. It doesn't you, even go to a You didn't like that? No. <laughs> no, he says, I would have left it and filled it with yeah. water whenever I needed it. Yeah. I got the motor sold of this. Oh, uh, I think so. We got some somebody from some school or something building a project. Nice steering wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna get that off. Oh, or leave it there for this. I'm gonna put the, this chassis underneath that car. Oh, okay. That's what I'm gonna use this for because the chassis is good, right? And then I got a chassis back there for that car, and so on and so forth. Yeah, you. Basically, I want to take and chop that off and make a station wagon out of it. That's what I want to do. I don't think it's been done before. No? Well, it's going to be done. The weather's beautiful here, isn't it, baby? Beautiful. The wind has slowed down. Nice. Oh. I wonder if I should just pick out everything out of that and throw it in the bin. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm just I'm just scared once I haul all the stuff out of it. If I throw anything away. Oh, don't throw anything away. Put it all over there in a pile. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think if I throw it away, you know what'll happen. I'll be digging for it. I'm also thinking I seen that guy on the internet there. He wanted a bumper. He wanted a what do you call it? A DeSoto bumper? And I got a bumper here, and I was going to make a bumper to show them how it's done. But showing and telling somebody is two different things, isn't it? Huh? Uh, hold it up so we can see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to sandblast it, though. I want to oh. sandblast it. I hang it on the wall when I'm done, couldn't I? Other than either paint or chrome, it's in good shape. It's not bent. It, it's got a little tiny bit of one. A little tiny bit of one right there. A little tiny bit of one. But I was thinking of sandblasting it, getting it cleaned up, and then I could do that. Then I could chrome it and show them how I do it. But we'll see what happens. Oh, you're going to chrome it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. With strips or? Yeah. Make it look like a 30s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I see them in the magazines. There was a buddy on the internet wanted to buy some. And I said, well, make yourself some. Then he said, well, you got any for sale? <laughs> I don't think he wanted to do it himself. What a beautiful day. Yeah, it's oh turned my. out to be really nice. Mm -hmm. Have any plans for the rest of the day? Uh, go home. Go home. Mm. 
I could get that sandblaster going and sandblast that bumper. Get it ready. Be a good thing to do, wouldn't it? Be a damn good thing to do. Haven't got any sand. Oh. That would slow you down, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to check. See if we get any sand. Motorbike's still standing. No sand. I got some stuff in there by the jumpins. By the jumpins. Uh, stuff in there, would you? Huh? Got some stuff in there, Jimbo. Huh? Yeah. Bunch of junk. I guess. I need some sand. I wonder if we ordered some sand. Got a little bit there, but it's probably not good. Yeah, I ordered some sand. I can sandblast that. Jeez, it's thick enough metal you could almost just grind it. True. You know, except for the seam. Sandblast the seam in the center and just grind it. True, I could strip it off and you know, strip Because you can put a different pad on your grinder to make it smoother when you're done. True. You know, sandblast where that little bead is if you want to, but... True, I could just take a grinder, flapper wheel and clean that yeah. off. I just don't know if I want to take the time and do that, if I just sandblast it or what. It's like um, surrounding yourself with so much beauty that you sit back and uh, all, you're not bored but and you're not really overwhelmed, but you don't know what to work on because everything's calling your name. <laughs> like, oh, Chad, do this, do this. You know, <laughs> Chad, I, like uh, you're saying, stop it. <laughs> I just think I should do it so he knows what's going, so he sees it being done. So you can see it being done. That's why. Or I think someone else could do it. You know what I mean? It'll well, one thing about grinding it is you get these little pit, pits out, which sandblasting wouldn't, mm, you know. Clean it off. You know, you'd have to sandblast it in the seam. But now, what would you do when you put your sticky stuff on? You just fill that in with body fill? Probably wouldn't even do anything with it. No, the sticky stuff would stick there. Well, it's got enough enough oh, width on okay. the. Depends on what you. It depends on how wide your strips are that you put on. Yep. I think I'll take that in though, and I'll grind, take that off, grind that off, because the bolt's got to be welded in here. You know I mean? I got to weld the bolts on the face so you can cover it with the chrome. Oh, okay. So you don't have the chrome on the inside. You could drill it and have the holes there and, and in the chrome. Could do that. But if I take and weld the bolt in there and then have the bolt, or the bolt sticking at the back, well, then I don't have to just chrome right over top of it. Right, yep. Or yep. I could do, the, I could do the, the head of the bolt on top of the chrome. We'll see. We will see. So I guess it's just whenever I get, when we get rocking and rolling again, we get rocking and rolling again, then we'll go for something. No sense me going for something right now, I don't think. Just happy to get the roof out, to be honest with you. I'll end up cleaning that out, taking everything out of it, and throwing some stuff away, and keeping some stuff, and basically. Basically, there's wood in there, and glass in there, and ooh, ooh.
Yeah, you get doors too, open. You get too many ideas, and oh, another car, and you build this, and then you build something else, and too many ideas, and after a while, things catch up to you where um, you're stuck doing finishing work and all detail, and then you take a break and build another car. But sooner or later, you end up with more cars than humanly possible to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait, Jimbo. Yeah. Enthusiasm is good, but um, it's important not to overwhelm yourself in the process. I do that, I do that a lot, don't I, baby? Overwhelm myself? Let's take these two pieces right this way. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's garbage. Imagine that wood should be good and that's soaking in, soaking in water. That's too bad. Just destroyed it. Seemed to have more window didn't frames it? than windows. Didn't it? Destroyed it, didn't it? All soaked in water. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, better put it back in there, soak it some more. I uh, should have drilled a hole in it. Yep. Well, oh, there's more wood that's soaked in water. Jumpins. These didn't seem to hurt it any. Look, it's still holding, the wood is still holding together just as good underwater as it did up there in the dry. I'm just gonna dump that water in. Oh, that must be good wood. Watch your, fit, watch your toes. Yeah, it must be good wood because it didn't look like it hurt. Laminated stuff. Well, it's good quality plywood. Because usually that would just dissolve. Uh, here's an example Jeez, of what I'm talking so about. There's so many hubcaps in there, baby. This is bad wood. This is what I was expecting. Like all that plywood <laughs> all holding up. Like look at that piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Going for it, man. Going for it. What the hey? Just going for it. Nope, gotta come this side, get too close to the other car. All the window frames, I have no idea if I'm gonna do anything with them or not. Ooh, isn't that gonna be heavy? Oh my. Full of water? Yep. <sighs> Maybe take the top one first. I get them both over here. Hey. <sighs> <laughs> well, that bottom one's gonna sort of follow you. Hey, uh, yeah. I guess they keep 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 better with water. Supposed to rain tomorrow, so that'll all get full again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's more glass underneath the car. The old floor doesn't even look like it's got a hole in it. I'm not going to use any of that stuff, so. He's got enough Jaguar hubcaps. They, that must have been an often thing to do is paint around the outside edge like that, what we're gonna do. Oh, oh nice hubcaps. Have a couple, Jimbo, if you want. Have a couple. Oh my lord, look how many you got. Yeah, have a couple. Take a couple, take three or four if you want. Well, not much point in having a couple. I might as well take a couple, or four. Four, we'll take four if you want. Welcome. There's 
If you want four, you're more than welcome. Mm. You're more than welcome. Get four matching ones. <laughs> Black one there. There's, the, there's this color here. Oh, well, those are the. There's a those four there. Are in the best shape, I think. There's a four there. But the four black ones are pretty good. No, that black one's squished. Hang them on your wall if you like. I'd say the wood's junk, but might be good to somebody. That little piece there, you still use that. It's just one piece of Some wood. Some of the wood's good. Some of the wood's good. Look at them. They cut, they cut the, the, the tunnel out of it, but the floor is in pretty good shape. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Take a look, baby. See, they cut the tunnel out of it. But the floor looks to be in fairly decent shape. Even the back seat seems to be in bad. Oh, no, the seats are in good shape. We'll sit back there at night. Yeah, the seats were in good are in good shape. Come on. I'm on the right thing, but mechanism seems to be missing. Right here. All old cars are so much fun, aren't they? Is this the back seat? That yeah, must be the back seat. I want to get that flop down in there, right? I was trying to get the driver's door open. Let's flop that back seat over, Jimbo, or turn just turn it. Uh, okay. we'll turn it this way, and then we'll slide down in. Oh, down in? We'll slide this way. Can we turn it over this way? Oh, okay. Oh, we shouldn't put the springs against the leather. Just in case you have a use for that seat. I want to put it down there, in the down back where? seat. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, just wondering how we're going to get that back there. Oh, right? just flip it right up and over. We'll go. Oh, no. no. You pull yours out the window for a sec. Okay. There. there. Now we'll go down in. Now, gotta be, they got to be turned around, ain't it? Uh... Oh, yep, you're right. No. Yes. 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 And and flipped up and over. Oh, we. Jeez, <laughs> we still did it wrong. <laughs> Which way's it got to go? Um, flipped around again. Like oh that. no, you're right. Yep. Just a sec, I'm hooked up on. Oh. Oh, so am I, I guess. My big, f my big feet won't fit down in that. Ah. Hooked up on that. Damn. I'm gonna rip that. You watch. <laughs> hooked up on that door handle. Oh. Oh. I know what I'm gonna do. Open the door up. Open your door up, Jimbo. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, just, just wait. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh, what is going on? Oh, we still are backwards. <laughs> oh, I see. We were right the first time. Yeah. She's not professionally repulsed, is she? Or is um, it? Actually, it's not that bad, except for I, it's I, been... I ripped it on this side, on this yeah. door. There. That now, would you? That thing built for comfort. No, yeah. Huh? Can you uh, see the, the car? Um, 
at one time before it was left out here in the rain for the winter uh, this this soaking soaking in water is not the best way to store stuff but come on yeah I did rip it didn't I oh I go back in there maybe we can oh I can't see it now get back in there for enough oh it's all but uh, that, Take that, me to town, James! Leather repair does a pretty good job. <laughs> no, it's got just those two seats alone. It's like $4,000 worth of leather. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. We'll cut the roof off and then she won't need the leather. Yeah, she don't... See, everything's not here anyway, so you know, like, it's just kind of... It's not here, so I guess it doesn't matter what you well, do. Well, how many projects does one man have to be working on? I love projects, Jimbo. Yeah. Well, right. you love projects, especially at certain stages. Yeah. You know, like I said, everybody gets burned out by the time you're starting to do the detail on the end. But well, I'll get one done. A couple. I'll get Joanie's yeah. done and mine done. Then we can work on one. You never know. I might hire someone on. Then I get more well, done. Well, not only that, but since we're doing such a good job, God might grant us an extra lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have given it to that chickadee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poor little bird. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to get rid of that, that split there, but it ain't going to work. I guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, that... I've repaired a few things like that. Piece of piss, eh? Piece of piss. I think the dashboard's done. I think. Um, parts of it, or just the coating. Actually, the wood's not bad. Fix Some wood really lasted well in the weather. Others didn't at all. She's not all there, so I'm not going to worry about it at all. Not even a little bit. You know, this thing was never repaired in the floor. Never repaired in the floor. How am I get that door open? Ah, come on. It wasn't not repaired. What's that? No. No, this one comes out. That one comes out that way. They spent a long time welding up all them holes, I can tell you that. They spent a long time welding up them holes. Not necessary. I'm going to go to the other side. Open the door up on the other side. Let's see which way that goes to move, open it. Ah. I see how to do it now. Trade you for your Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's still a lot of potholes in yeah. the road. <laughs> Boy, you had to be pretty careful. Careful that sort of stuff. Oh, yep. We didn't hurt her too bad. Well, it's Door. an 
off the good shape. It is, isn't it? Wow. You know what I mean? Like the floor, like they cut the top, the floor, the back of it, but the old floor in the center is good shape, man. I wonder what kind of chassis you'd put that on. Put that on there, leave it on the original? Probably. I haven't got any of the steering. I wonder how you put the bolts in all these cars would be different, were they not? All different? Um, well, I thought the Jaguar motor would have had different bolts, but we were using standard wrenches and grabbing bolts and screwing things in, so maybe only the... Maybe that's a myth. Maybe it doesn't have... I don't know bolts. why, but I want to sit in this fucking thing. I don't know why. Probably shouldn't have did that. You know, I can't get the door open. What do you think, baby? You know, I... I don't know if I want... If you want me to take the four best hubcaps you got where you got Jaguar wheels and they look good, maybe you should put these on. Jimbo, if you want a set of hubcaps, you're more than welcome. Because they fit right on the rims that look like brand new. I wonder if that's the same wheel pattern that's on the Oldsmobile. Geez, I, geez, I hope not. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> two and seven eighths between the wheel studs. Is that two and seven eighths or is that three inches? I couldn't tell you. Huh? Oh my lord. <laughs> Quite comfortable seats, man, I'll tell you. Quite something else. The two and seven eighths, those rims will go on that Oldsmobile. Well, I don't know how nice I'm gonna get today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, same wheel pattern. Yeah, um, two and seven eighths. From center? And that should be three inches. Yeah. No, no. Um, my measurement, I just measure between two. It's two and seven eighths. And that's exactly two and seven eighths. And that would be. And three. that's exactly three inches there. Mine are three inches in the center and two and seven eighths between wheel studs. Did you notice something about that's that? That's Osmobile wheel stud. Did you notice something about that wheel? The hubcaps fit these bags. No, but you they look like brand new. And you see, you know something with the wheels? No. <laughs> and they got the wheel nuts on backwards. <laughs> oh, they do. They sure do. All of them too. Yeah. Who would do that? <laughs> well, I'm put not... the wheel nuts on backwards, and I bet you they're in there torqued. Geez, I hope not. Yeah. They are. But that is Oldsmobile. That is Oldsmobile pattern. Wow. I was going to be able to Jaguar wheels on I don't know if that'll work or not. Well, basically, that's about it. It's enough of that today. <laughs> enough of that today. It's supposed to rain tonight, is it not, baby? Yeah. Well, tis what it is. I'll play with it a little bit and we'll go for it put that roof on it don't know if it's going to work or not but that's what i feel like doing so that's probably what i'll do not sure when but